We want to build a robot that shoots a disc using a flywheel with a given RPM. The goal of this project is to get hands on building, as well as showcasing our knowledge in physics relating to motion and energy in a unique experiment. Our lab specific question is to find the experimental value of the RPM of the motor and compare that with the given RPM through diagnostics. Diagnostics was around 100 to 110 joule per minute with loss of battery power and friction. Our group has always been interested in robotics and we figured that the relation to the mechanism of our robot shooting out the disc was very similar to the content we were learning in class about rotational motion and conservation of energy. We expect to find that most, if not all, of the energy from the flywheel we made will go directly into the kinetic energy of the disk. We will be using inertia and rotational velocity to calculate the rotational energy, and use the conservation of energy to calculate the kinetic energy of the disk. For the process of finding the RPM of the motor, we used what we knew about energy conservation, a few measurements for the masses, radiuses, and the speed of the disk using tracker software to find a process to deducing the revolutions PERMINUTE of the motor. We do this by first finding the angular velocity which we derived as the quotient of the disk and flywheel's kinetic energy all raised to a power of one half afterwards. We convert this unit from radians PERSECOND to revolutions PERMINUTE. Finally, to account for the D ratio, we divided our calculated result by the D ratio to find our final RPM of the motor, which is 60.87 joule-per-minute. From our experimental results, we found that calculations have resulted in a lower RPM in comparison to our given 100 from diagnostics. Some limiting factors which may have reduced this result that were not included are friction between the disc and frame of the robot, potential loss of energy during conversion, and time period for energy transformation, an improvement which can be made to improve the accuracy the accuracy of our experimental result was to apply lubricant to the moving mechanism in the robot to further improve energy conservation which was applied for several attempts. Other small adjustments to the mechanical design such as a lever that pushes the disc instead of rotating from a pivot or changing the angle of attack when the disc is released could also change the resulting RPM. Although the experimental results do deviate a bit from a given, it's still able to predict the RPM using just the physical constants and quantities we know so it could be helpful in a situation where you may not know the motor RPM but can measure the properties of the system.